Welcome to my channel. Today I want to start off by giving a shout out to one of my subscribers, a goddess in training, because on one of my last day in the life vlogs, she asked that I do a video on essential oils. So a goddess in training, today is the day we are going to be talking about everything essential oils. And the format that we're going to do it with is five W's and an H. Yes, I am totally going into teacher mode here. By the way, if you didn't know, I am a second grade teacher and Five W's and an H stands for who, what, when, where, why, and how. The reason why we're doing it this way is because I am totally into natural living, essential oils, all that kind of thing, and I can really go on and on and on, and this video could easily be over an hour, but I'm not gonna do that to you guys. So we're gonna use our little five W's and an H and just stay on track and keep it moving. So let's start off with the first W, who. Who exactly can use essential oils? Now the short answer to that is just about anyone. From babies to grandparents and everyone in between, you have your librarians, retired politicians, teachers, literally whoever can use essential oils. There are certain populations though that really should exercise uh, some caution when it comes to using particular oils, and that would include pregnant women and also people who have epileptic seizures. When you're using essential oils topically, you wanna to make sure that you are diluting your oils. If you are using essential oils for babies or for the elderly, you're gonna to want to make sure that their oils are more diluted or diluted at a higher ratio than say for just a typical adult. As a pregnant woman, well, not currently, but when I was pregnant with my son a few years ago, I used essential oils. I really only used one type of oil. I didn't have any kind of problems with it at all. And then when my son was born from the time of his infancy all the way up until like right now, he's taking a nap and there are oils diffusing in his room. Like I've never had an issue with using essential oils on my son um, topically or just in the air aromatically. So the next W is what? What exactly are essential oils? Essential oils are the essence or the life force of a plant and they contain all the therapeutic properties of the particular plant. So the way that essential oils are made is through the process of steam distillation. They can be derived from the roots, the resin, the bark, the rinds, the stems, the flowers, the leaves, just from all different parts of the plant, just depending on what type of oil is being made and essential oils are highly volatile. So that, that means they have really small, vo not molecules, they have really small molecules. They can evaporate really quickly. And so quick tip, whenever you're using your essential oils, you wanna make sure that you screw the cap on really, really well, nice and tight because they can evaporate if the cap isn't screwed on well. You wanna use your oils and not lose your oils. When you're using your essential oils topically on your skin, and by the way, check the label because some oils, just depending on where you get it from, are just for smelling good. Like they don't actually have any therapeutic properties whatsoever. They're not pure, they're not really essential oils. And so you should not be putting them on your skin. But if you do have pure essential oils like the kind that I have right here, then you want to use what is called a carrier oil. Now, essential oils are not fatty at all, but carrier oils are. And carrier oils have much larger molecules. They're not gonna evaporate like essential oils are. They're gonna absorb into the skin at a much slower rate. And so it is really good when you pair them together. Jojoba oil is absolutely my favorite carrier oil. It's great for your nails, for your hair, for your skin. My hairstylist actually does what she calls a jojoba blowout. So she mixes jojoba oil into the conditioning treatment that she makes. And whenever she does that and I go into the dryer, like my hair is just so silky and smooth and I love it. This is my almost empty. You can see there's literally hardly anything <laughs> left in here. This almost empty bottle of jojoba oil I got from the um, health food store. And then I got this new bottle for when I run out from Amazon. It was really highly reviewed and so that's why I got it. I'll link it down below just in case anyone is interested. 
And then I also got this from Amazon. This is um, jojoba butter. I use this just about every day. You can see this one is also pretty much empty. Jojoba is the truth. Like jojoba can stand on its own without any essential oils being mixed with it. It just has really good properties on its own. So that's why it's my favorite carrier oil. But you can really use just about any fatty oil with your essential oils as a carrier oil. So I also like to use coconut oil. This one is, I forget what it's called, but there's some coconut oils that are fractionated. That's what it's called, fractionated coconut oil. It's not gonna solidify when the temperature drops. Whereas this type of coconut oil I get from Aldi, I use it for cooking. This is going to solidify um, when the temperature drops, but it's summer now, it's pretty warm in our house. It's 77 degrees on the thermostat, so yeah, this is just gonna stay liquid. I also use extra virgin olive oil. I meant to bring it with me, but literally like this is my oil. This is coconut oil from the kitchen. These are great carrier oils. It's no jojoba, but it works. I also use extra virgin olive oil a lot straight from the cooking aisle in the grocery store and I put it into this little dropper bottle here you see it says EVOO I get these bottles from Amazon this one is pretty much empty now but you can see this is what the dropper bottle looks like if I'm trying to fill up something like a roller to use topically then I'll fill this like I'll put my essential oil in there and then fill it the rest of the way with the extra virgin olive oil. That's kind of a, a little overview of all my carrier oils, but you want to use carrier oil when you are trying to use apply the oil topically because let's say I just worked out and I, and I want to use some Panaway essential oil, which is really good for like soothing sore muscles. And I want to put it like all right here, which I mean, kudos to me. I actually did work out this morning <laughs> for the first time in a long time. So I want to put it all on my arm I'm gonna have to use a lot of my little bottle of essential oil in order to cover my whole arm. It's gonna evaporate super quickly and I'm gonna be sad because I had to use so many drops of my essential oil. However, if I use some of my jojoba oil, um, I put a few drops in my hand. Now I'm only gonna use a few drops of my essential oil. I'm gonna rub it all in together, put it on my arm. It's gonna absorb into my skin a little more slowly. It's gonna have a little bit of a longer lasting effect. And it's gonna be way better and more cost effective than using the essential oil all by itself. And the carrier oil actually kind of dilutes the essential oil. So that is um, what you wanna always do. There are a few essential oils that like, you can use on your skin topically without a carrier oil, but it's pretty much recommended that you always use a carrier oil when you're using your oils topically. Hope all of that makes sense. On to the next W. When exactly did I start using essential oils? The answer to that is that I started getting into essential oils about five years ago, but I have consistently been learning about and using them on a very regular basis for the last three years. In, back in 2016, I was pregnant with my son and I was heading into a new school year. It was uh, the beginning of August and I was really looking for a way to stay, you know, pretty healthy naturally because my midwife told me that if I come down with something like a cold or whatever, I'm not gonna be able to take the medications that I normally reach for. And I've never been sick and not taken medication, so I didn't even wanna imagine what that would be like or how miserable I would be, especially since I was pregnant. So I was just like, you know what? I need to really be proactive and see what I can do to just stay well and to keep my immune system boosted so that I'm not around here getting sick while I'm pregnant. We all know that at back to school time, that's when the classroom cooties are just like rampant and everyone's getting sick. And I just did not want that to be my story. So around that same time, I was talking to my friend Jen and she was telling me about how this Thieves essential oil has really good um, immune boosting properties and it's really good for helping you to stay well. And she was telling me about how she uses it for her family. So I was like, you know what? Give me one of those diffusers and the Thieves and let me rock with that. So I was using Thieves like that whole time from August until November when I had my son. I didn't get sick at all during back to school time. Praise the Lord. <laughs> and I really liked the Thieves. I liked the way that it smelled and I was diffusing it every single day. And then when my son was born, I was also diffusing it around him. 
and that's pretty much how I got started with it. Now, several years before when I was using essential oils, I would just be using them in some of the self-care products that I was making or the body care products that I was making, like lotion bars and that kind of thing, but never diffused them before or even knew what a diffuser was like five years ago. When I got my diffuser, I was diffusing my thieves every single day. That is the only oil that I used for an entire year. Then my friend Jen had this uh, class about essential oils and how you can use them to get the toxins out of your home and it really, really opened my eyes to just how dangerous the chemicals are in our homes and like she was sharing statistics about how a stay at home mom would be like way more likely to come down with certain types of sicknesses or cancer or whatever because of just the huge amount of toxic chemicals under our cabinets and you know sinks in our kitchens that we're exposed to every single day and so I was like you know what let me start taking this a little bit more seriously because all along even before I started using the essential oils like I had been interested in just a more natural way of living but after I had that class or after I went to that class I got a starter kit of essential oils and that's how like I really got started and so I wasn't able to afford the starter kit right at that time, but maybe about like, I was really serious about wanting to really get more into essential oils. And so about a month or so later, um, there was a sale and so I jumped on it and that's how I really like got my feet wet and really got started with using essential oils. So the next W is where, where exactly should you get your essential oils? And the answer to that is going to depend on your purpose and the reason why you want to use them. And so if you're totally just all about, I want like all the good smells, I don't care about toxins, none of that really matters to me then you know you can go to Hobby Lobby, you can go to Walmart and get oils from there. They are not pure essential oils. They are the ones that say for diffuser use only, do not allow it to touch your skin. <laughs> and so, but if that's really the only thing that you care about, then that's where you can get your oils from. If however, you do wanna use your essential oils because of their therapeutic properties and all the different things that you can do with them, like in skincare and in replacing some of the toxic chemicals in your home with essential oils or essential oil infused products, then you are gonna to want to make sure that you get a 100% pure therapeutic grade natural essential oil. I personally have used several different brands of essential oils. I've started off using um, our Acacia. I've used the Now brand essential oils. But currently what I use is Young Living Essential Oils. They are therapeutic grade. They're very high quality. I love them. And since I started using um, Young Living Oils, I haven't gone back to any of the other brands. And so if you are interested in Young Living Oils, I can give you more information about that. I am a distributor for Young Living. And so I would love to be your friendly neighborhood internet oil lady. <laughs> <laughs> if you give me the chance. I will say this about Young Living. They have a seed to seal promise, which basically means that from the time the seeds are planted until the package is sealed to be shipped out to you, to your home, they are only going to use the best processes, the best plants, and you're going to get a really high quality product from Young Living. The next W is why. Why do I use essential oils? And the answer to that is because I really am interested in living a much more natural lifestyle in the things that I eat, in the products that I'm using on my body. And to be honest, I really, really, really struggle with making better food choices. It's not quite as easy as just like throwing out some, you know, bleach and fabuloso and replacing it with a healthier alternative. It takes a lot more um, commitment and dedication and self-discipline, which is things which are things that I'm all working on. But when it comes to essential oils, that's just like a quick and easy fix, like something that I can do to live a more natural and healthier lifestyle that I feel like is better for myself and for my family. I am such a DIY person at heart, guys. I love doing DIY products or projects, especially for things that you can use for skincare. And I really wanna do projects like, you know, furniture and that kind of thing, but I haven't actually ventured out to that, but let's reel it back in. That is the main reason why I use essential oils because I wanna live a more natural, healthier lifestyle for myself. I wanna set that example for my son, for my husband, for my family, and you know, anyone who can I and anyone who I can inspire to do the same thing so hopefully that's what I'm doing with this video is just inspiring you to try out essential oils if you haven't already 
and see how you can make some good changes for yourself, for your family, using essential oils. I will also say that now that I've been using them for such a long time and I've switched to a more natural way of living, some of the harsh chemicals that are in the products that I used to use before, like Fabuloso, Thai, regular laundry detergents and soaps, that stuff really, really, really bothers me now. I'm very sensitive to it and it's almost kind of like when I was pregnant and like something that never bothered me before, like the smell of it is just so offensive. And I noticed that when I went to my mom's house. She always, you know, changes the sheets and washes everything before we come for the guest room. But this time when we went, like the smell of the laundry detergent, which is just like a, you know, clean linen smell, typical laundry detergent, like it was so bothersome to me that I had a hard time sleeping. And some of the synthetic fragrances, like I just don't use them anymore and have a really hard time sometimes being around products that are filled with those toxic chemicals, especially like walking by Bath and Body Works with all their candles and hand soaps and stuff. Guys, I used to be the queen of Bath and Body Works. Like anytime they had a semi-annual sale, I was getting the lotions, the body washes, the candles especially, but I literally cannot even stomach those things anymore. And I'm just grateful that I am able now to live a more natural lifestyle that I've learned a lot over the years and that I'm just doing things differently now. So the next and last one is how. How do I personally use essential oils? And there are so many different ways. Um, I could not remember them all off the top of my head. So I have a few notes here in my little notebook. So the first one is aromatically by using a diffuser and the oils get diffused into the air. Everyone who's in the room can smell and get the benefits of the oil. I even bring a diffuser with me when I am traveling. And so last summer we went to Texas for my niece's graduation and my son, like he just came down with this terrible cough in the middle of the night. I had my diffuser with me. I know which oils are good for supporting the respiratory system. And so I started diffusing. I held the diffuser like right under his face, like within in minutes he was doing better that's also because I think the room was kind of chilly and he was cold so it's not just like only the oils but I had the oils that do support the respiratory system um, I covered him up with the blanket and <coughs> within maybe 10 to 15 minutes he was really doing a lot better you can use them aromatically you can use them topically which we talked about a little bit earlier before with your um, carrier oil this is a roller that I use. I just like to apply it right here. This has lemon, lavender, and peppermint, which is really, really good for when allergy season rolls around. Sometimes when we are going out to recess, I will literally have this with me in my little pouch purse thing that I carry, and I just start rubbing it on. I rub it in like this. I take a big whiff, I inhale deeply, and literally within about five minutes, like the itchiness and the scratchy feeling is gone. I will say though that I figured out the right formulation of oils for Florida where I live. When I went to visit my mom in the spring in Georgia, like this roller helped a little bit, a little bit, but the pollen count where she lives is like through the roof, and so, I would have needed to have a much stronger um, dilution of the mixture of lemon, lavender, and peppermint for that situation. I diffuse essential oils in my son's diffuser in his room every single night without fail. Like it's just a part of our nighttime routine. I run the bath water while the bath water is running. I go put the oils in, turn the light off, turn the, the night light kind of situation that we have over here, and then we get ready for bed every single night without fail. Sometimes I diffuse overnight in my room, not always. I also like to use the oils topically on my son's feet. I have an immunity roller for him that has frankincense and lemon and thieves. And I have it in one of these little roller bottles and I'll just roll it on the bottoms of his feet when I am putting his lotion on after his bath at night. I also like to use these roller bottles as a fragrance. My husband loves the way this smells and then whenever I put this on, people are like, it smells good. What, like, what are you wearing? What is that? I'm just like, oh, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. I also like to diffuse oils in my classroom. I would say though that before you start diffusing oils in your room, you want to check with your district and see what the policy is on diffusing essential oils in the classroom. And also check your student information cards because if the student has, say, a citrus allergy, then you're not going to want to be diffusing lemon or orange in your classroom. So just check and see if it's okay before you start doing that. 
And I really like to diffuse peppermint in my classroom. Like if we're having a test, my students will be like, we need peppermint, we need peppermint because peppermint really helps with focus. And so it's a treat to them when I diffuse peppermint in the classroom. I also use my Thieves Household Cleaner as an all-purpose cleaner. And it's a cleaner that's plant-based. It's infused with Thieves Essential Oil. Let me show you. Okay, so this is my Thieves Household Cleaner. I bought this bottle or I got it, I think back in February of 2018. And I am just now running out. Like there's just a little bit left in here. And what I do is I open the bottle up I pour a capful into here and uh oh and then I pour that capful into a spray bottle like this these are 99 cents from Walmart in the travel section and then I fill it the rest of the way with water if I want it to be a little stronger then I might do one and a half or two caps of this and this is my thieves cleaner spray and I use it to clean the glass table in my dining room the windows in my car, <laughs> the counters in the kitchen, I use it in the bathroom, I use it everywhere. And Thieves is a blend that has, it has cinnamon, lemon, rosemary, and eucalyptus, and clove. And so that combination of essential oils like is really, really good for immunity. There are some great uh, other really good properties in those oils, like especially when you combine them. So I love using this. This is another way that I use it. And I love using this in my classroom. I keep one bottle of this in my classroom and it literally will last forever because I don't do a whole lot of cleaning in there. But when I want the students to clean their desks off, they grab the Thieves spray. They start spraying the desks down and they love the way it smells like. Sometimes I'll have them spray their desk down and then you just see them like, you know, with their head down on the desk and <laughs> inhaling it. Not all students like, I have seen some do that before though. I love that they can use this instead of those Clorox wipes because the Clorox wipes, I'm not comfortable allowing my students to use those because it says like you have to wash your hands after you use them, they're really strong and I just, I don't use them for myself and so I wouldn't want to make my students use them either, but this is completely plant-based. It's really like safe for them to use. What else, what else, what else? I use them topically, like when I have a headache, there are certain oils that I use for that. I use it as a bug repellent. I went to a wedding last summer or a vow renewal ceremony and my friend was there with me who also was into essential oils and we both had our bug repellent rollers in our purse. It was an outdoor ceremony and you can see other people like swatting and all that kind of stuff at the bugs outside but I didn't get bitten, she didn't get bitten, we were good. So you really can use essential oils for all sorts of different things. I make a foaming hand soap. I have some glass bottles that are for foaming hand soap and I use essential oils in that. I make lotion bars a lot. I use essential oils in those uh, in order to give it a really good fragrance and just all sorts of things, guys. So that is it. We are going to wrap the video up here. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something new and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you already use essential oils. If you do, which one is your favorite? How do you use them? I love oils. Let's talk about it. I wanna know. All right, guys, see you in the next one.